hey guys and welcome back to my channel as you can tell by the title today is going to be another ayurvedic wash day this wash today i am using a completely different powder i am using the shikakai powder which is also known as the fruit of the hair based on the website it's known as the fruit of the hair this powder really acts as a cleansing agent so if there's ever a powder that you want to use without having to use shampoo this powder would be it so this powder cleanses your hair this powder promotes hair growth this powder prevents dandruff and it also strengthens your hair from the root this shikakai powder also acts as a detangler so we're gonna see just how easy detangling my hair is with this powder on now of course i did went ahead and mixed my powder off of camera again guys i am using the same ingredients from my previous videos i'm going to link that for you to see this powder is brown just like the goddess hair powder that i used as well as the brownie powder however this powder is a more deeper brown so it looks like a rich earthy red but it's really brown so this is how it looks kind of reminds me of like a brownie paste or a chocolate cake batter not a paste batter as we look at it very 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 thick and very rich um you know my routine by now guys i am going to apply this the same way that i always do this is pretty much how my hair is a wash and go also i really may be i really may be skipping protective style this week i'll be doing another wash and go guys so don't kill me it's just I'm kind of over protective styles for a little bit. I want to do my wash and goes again for a bit. Um, but if you are new to this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Your hair, you're watching this video, so you're, you're kind of interested in this Ayurvedic series, guys. So if you're new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and be sure to give this video a thumbs up, guys. Your engagement really, really, really helps me a lot. And if there are any questions that you have, be sure to leave those in the comment section below. I am literally always responding. And if there are any questions that you have and you want a quick, immediate answer, you can always just send me a DM on Instagram. So without me blabbering on anymore, let's just get right into this video. So again, parting my hair in two sections. I'm gonna do this like a very, very latest video. I'm just gonna do two big sections. So your girl now has hair clips. So I'm gonna be using hair ties anymore, guys. I got hair clips. So I'm gonna be clipping this out of the way.
guys, I'm back. So the mask is applied to both sides of my hair as you can see. Let's talk about the powders. In the beginning, I told you that I'm using the Shikakai powder, which is also called the fruit of the hair. So we're gonna go to the next powder that I have, which is the Amla powder. Okay, so the Amla powder is a plant that's known as Amblica. Amblica. And the dried powdered fruit has tannins, vitamin C, and it's an astringent. So I think this is why these powders are like really good for like cleanses because astringent like kind of cleans. Astringent is like an alcohol and stuff and like alcohol cleans. So I'm assuming that that's why these powders do a good job in cleaning. Let's just keep reading. So this amla powder adds texture and volume, wave and curl, shine to your hair, promotes hair growth, thicker, stronger hair strands. It tones down red of henna. So if you have henna in your hair and you want to tone down the red, then you use the amla powder. This is, I said it, this is a natural astringent making it good for facial cleansing. Mm. So when I use my amla powder, I'm actually going to do a face mask and a hair mask, but I'm going to make them differently. So stay tuned for that one. And the amla powder tightens up your curls and your coils. That's, that's very interesting. I didn't know that. So the next powder that I used was the Brahmi powder. Let's see what's in the Brahmi powder and let's see what are the benefits of the Brahmi powder. Okay, so Brahmi is a healing Ayurvedic healthy hair herb. Didn't know that, <laughs> even though I already used it. So this is used for strengthening the roots of your hair. This makes your hair denser, long, shiny, and dark toned. It controls dandruff. That it really does, I'm gonna agree. Reduces premature graying, reduces the amount of hair loss. Perfect herb to add to the natural hair regimen of someone who has chronic hair problems. It treats eczema and psoriasis. See guys, I told you, before me even doing all the sore research, just using these powders on my hair without a shampoo, these powders literally do cleanse your scalp and I'm not exaggerating, like, they really, really, really cleanse your scalp. So this says that we recommend you store this herb and all Ayurvedic herbs in a cool, dark place or your freezer. Okay. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So you know that I started my series off using the brownie powder. Then I went to the goddess hair and now I'm on the Shikakai powder. Last year I did use the Sukesh powder. So let's just see what in the Sukesh powder because I did use that powder too and I actually really do love that powder. That one's green. Every powder that I've been using so far is all browns, all tones of browns or all different shades of browns. But the Sukesh powder, that's a green powder. So let's just see what's in that and what are the benefits. Again, you can find all this information that I'm reading off to you on Hannah Souk's website. This is where I get my powders from. So of course I'm gonna go here for the information. Okay. So the Sukesh powder has quite a bit in it. So it has organic cassia obobato, which conditions and strengthens hair, improves scalp condition, and gives hair incredible shine. It has organic amla. We already know what amla does. It has organic neem, which is antifungal or antiseptic treats a number of scalp conditions such as dandruff, psoriasis, acne, fungal conditions, eczema, soothes itchy scalp, remove excess oil from the hair or scalp, balances sebum production, nourishes hair roots, and encourages hair growth. Then it has organic aloe vera which heals and soothes the scalp, encourages hair growth, nourishes new growth, moisturizes hair, improves scalp condition, organic tulsi or tulsi, which is antibacterial, moisturizes hair, protects the hair from environmental pollution, heals the scalp from various scalp conditions such as scalp acne and dandruff. Then it has Brahmi. We know what Brahmi does. And then it has Bringraj or Bringra. Don't know. But this encourages and nourishes growth heals dandruff or fungal infections of the scalp, rejuvenates the hair, decreases hair shedding, prevents scalp from drying out, helps soothe headaches. Ooh, I didn't know that. 
And then they have shikakai and we know what shikakai does because we're using that powder right now. So remember I told you when I first started this series, I went with the Sukesh powder. And remember I told you that I read literally everything that all the powders had. I think that's why I chose that powder the first time because back then my scalp was like going crazy. Like my scalp gets crazy dandruff. I'm not exaggerating it. Point that sometimes it feels like I have sores sometimes when I'm scratching or sometimes if I scratch and I scratch too hard, my scalp like bleeds a little bit tmi i know but i think that's why i went with that and i think that's why like i really enjoyed it because if you listen to all the ingredients everything literally really catered to scalp so if you have scalp conditions and really bad scalp conditions or just like really bad dandruff like i do that would be the absolute perfect powder for you to start off this series with which is the Sukesh powder so those were all the powders that I used or will be using because I still have the Amla to use however there are other products from this site that I will be trying out very 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 soon so stay tuned because I'm going to be of course recording it and filming it and documenting it so, I do hope that you guys are enjoying this series as well and that you are finding the information um, pretty useful. So if you are doing this series and if you are purchasing your powders from Hennessy, be sure to comment below and let me know how you're liking the series, how you're liking the powders on your hair. And all of these powders range from about $7 to $9. Literally, you can't beat that. I mean the powders last you they last me for about one pack lasts me for about what two to three wash days but that's because my hair was like so long so i feel like if my hair wasn't as long as it was then those packets will last me a little bit longer so i do think that seven dollars to nine dollars is really good for you to purchase your powder now again i don't want to mislead you when it comes to renting these powders out it does take Quite a while so like you are gonna need to like go in the shower and just literally rinse your hair for a bit the shikakai powder mask was a really more rich blend it just was i don't know like this one was different from the goddess hair like the powder itself like even when i poured the powder out of the packet i noticed that the goddess hair was a more fine powder but this one wasn't as fine but then like when i whipped it up this one was a more silky, richy texture than the other powders, so I don't know, but I really do like this one, and this one is more of a cleansing powder, so this one really is ideal for um, not using shampoos when you're using um, the Ayurvedic Herbal Mask. This is the ideal powder for that. I mean, I use all of them that way, but this would be the ideal one, so I am going to let this finish harden up on my hair for... The remainder of the time then i'm just gonna come back and make sure you how my hair looks um in a very very hard cast state after the time expires and then as always these videos would not make sense if i do not show you my hair when i rinse it out so stay tuned for that guys and i will be back okay guys so i am out the tub my eyes are always red every time i get out of the shower i don't know why my eyes are so sensitive but my hair is all rinsed out so this is literally my hair look how much healthier my hair is getting guys i literally can't believe this i mean i could believe it but you know i'm like i'm just happy I think I'm the happiest girl because I'm getting my hair back to the level of health where I want it to be. All this series teaches you is literally just consistency. Like, trust me, I get it. Having to prepare a mask each wash day is so tedious and that's why sometimes I prepare them like ahead of time. But this series is literally just all about consistency. Okay guys, so this is pretty much where I end this video. Again, if you are new to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure I give this video a thumbs up if you learned something from this. And to turn on the post notifications so that when I post new videos such as this one, you won't miss them. And I will see you guys in the next upload.